Well, despite COVID-19 difficulties last year, Blue Star Mothers of Coastal Carolina is looking for donations to fund the annual Wreaths Across America program. It is. News 13's Melissa Myers joins us now with more on their efforts to increase last year's coverage. Hi, Melissa. Hey, Megan. Because of the pandemic, last year the organization was only able to cover about one-third of the Florence National Cemetery, placing wreaths on every third grave. They ask for your help to increase that number this year. Sharon Russell is no stranger to the military family. I get tears in my eyes thinking about, you know. With a son in the Marines and a daughter in the Navy, honoring these veterans is just one way she pays it forward. I place the wreath, I take a picture, and I send it to the families. And it's just, they, it means so much to them. For 11 years, Blue Star Mothers has participated in wreaths across America. A day where they honor fallen veterans by laying wreaths on their gravestones. As a registered sponsor for the Florence National Cemetery, with every two wreaths purchased, they get a third for free. It just means so much to the families to know that people out in the rest of the world care about the service that their veterans made for our country. In 2019, they were able to cover almost the entire Florence National Cemetery with wreaths. Last year, however, COVID placed a setback on fundraising, but they still managed to cover one-third of the cemetery. Trying to choose whose grave gets a wreath is not a decision I really like to have to make. I would rather just have everybody out there be honored for their service. This year, Blue Star Mothers is asking for your help to increase last year's number. And because of the rising number in veteran deaths, many being from COVID, their goal is to place as many wreaths as possible. The motto of Wreaths Across America is to remember the fallen, honor those who serve, and teach our younger generations literally that freedom is not free. Now, last year they were not able to hold a public ceremony at the cemetery because of COVID-19. Russell tells me this year they're more hopeful to hold one, and that's scheduled for December 18th. Now, the last day to send in your donation for a wreath is November 19th, and I'll have those details at WBTW.com. Back to you.